Hi Cancer, this is your reading for January 2023. The overall energy for the month talks about possibly you dealing with an authority figure in your life, a father figure, or perhaps someone who has the power to help you, an authority figure, perhaps a boss, a mentor. Okay, um, it might be someone that you're seeking their cooperation in some way as you move into January. Now it does, it is someone who's going to provide you with guidance or their presence in some way is going to help you. It might even be a male uh, role model, okay, in your life. But it's someone who has that ability to think on a large scale, okay, and they're planning for the future. They're very assertive and they, they assert rule over reason, okay. Now, they know how to get things done. They possibly, maybe it's a boss, maybe it's someone in your life that is teaching you the ropes or showing you the ropes in some way. Now, it also uh, may be you. It may be you, Cancer, where you're having to step in and uh, provide guidance or a take charge type of attitude, okay? Maybe delegate or give directions. It does talk about possibly you moving forward on some project or some endeavor that you're wanting to get involved in a business. Maybe you're wanting to start a business. Maybe you're wanting to build something. And so you're having to be a foreman of sorts in order to tell people what to do in order to move forward in a project, okay? Now, it does talk about you achieving your goals and gaining process prosperity as you're moving forward into January. Talks about recognition and respect that's coming with this newfound ability to be able to delegate. So maybe you have been hired in uh, a position of authority. Maybe you have applied for a job as a supervisor and maybe indeed that is what you have uh, achieved. And so you're finding yourself in the role of boss now. Okay, so in that whole month of January, it is talking about promotion and it's talking about moving forward in some aspect in your life in a business endeavor okay something that's going to bring you about a monetary aspect but also um, recognition of your skills now as you're moving into the first week it does talk about a bond or a commitment that's coming into being and indeed if you're starting a new job, that is what it is. It is a new bond. It is a new commitment, okay? Perhaps it's a new romantic relationship that you're getting involved in. It can stand for any type of commitment where you're sharing the same views or the same values with another person, okay? Or another circumstance in your life. So as you're moving into, um, we're in that we're in that second week now, okay? And when you're moving into that second week, it talks about you visualizing and taking the appropriate action that you need to take in order to move forward in some endeavor in your life. So indeed, if you've started a new job, if you've become the foreman or the boss, okay, you're having to, to look at what it is you're trying to achieve and you're having to kind of like, as I said, delegate, but you're having to find the people that fit in the right grooves, okay? The people that are going to do the, the job that you need them to do correctly, okay? So you're having to kind of like sort through the chafe. You're, you're having to sort through um, the people that know their stuff, the people that can move forward, and the people that might be just holding you back in some way, okay? Now, it is talking about you being very self-reliant and very individualistic, okay, where you're going to do things your way. You're not going to play uh, by the same rules as everybody else. You're not going to, I shouldn't say play by the same rules, but you're not going to kind of fit this mold. If you're the boss, you're going to be your own type of boss, okay? You're possibly, because my cancers are very sociable, so you're possibly, yeah, going to want to get the job done, but you're going to be very... Um, amicable with the people that you work with, okay? You're not going to be this strict, uh, kind of crack the whip kind of fellow, but you're indeed, you indeed are going to be someone that expects the job to be done, to be done properly, and to be done in a timely matter, manner. So it is talking about possibly you having all those attributes that you need to be a good mentor or a good boss. And that's where you're going uh, in the month of January, especially as you're moving into that second week. And you're showing uh, that indeed you're willing to go against the mainstream. You're willing to try new things. You're standing up for your personal ideals, okay? It also talks about you being reliable and being very successful in your endeavor in this month. It does talk about an unexpected turn of events where things perhaps may go um, in another direction than you assumed they would, okay? But it is going to be successful. So maybe you thought you were going to, sure, maybe you thought you were getting a promotion and and you got the promotion, but perhaps you're going to be asked to step up to the plate to do something that you weren't expecting. OK, 
okay. Maybe you were just expecting to be the boss on a certain line or the boss in a certain area. Now maybe you're expected to take over a larger amount of the responsibility. But know this, Cancer, you're up for it. You have the ability. You have the ability, you have the knowledge, and you're going to do it. You're going to be very successful at it, I might add. So as you're moving into that third week, <clears throat> it talks about a lot of things going on. It talks, it talks about the fact that you're scattering your energies because you got so much going on, okay? But it does talk about you learning from your mistakes. I mean, perhaps you're going to kind of slide over the paperwork a little bit, and you're going to realize the mistake you made, and you're going to go back, you're going to fix it. And that's what it's talking about. Now, it also talks about someone who wants to return home or to a, a secure situation. And this might even be you, Cancer. Or there may be someone in your life who wants to come back into your life, okay? And it does talk about wanting to rebuild that trust with you, wanting to broach that, uh, that fence or to build that bridge that perhaps had been... Um, destroyed okay perhaps there is a reason why you're meant to join with this person you have a history it could be a, a relative it could be a brother it could be a son it could be a partner okay someone who left your life and went in their own direction and now they're wanting to join with you they're wanting to uh you know kind of they're they're realizing where things went wrong in the past and they're not blaming you they're not being placating they're they're saying basically you know what we lived the same uh, situation we lived in the same situation we suffered the same things and i think that we should pull together as a team we should connect okay and in that way uh, cancer, it's talking about you building a relationship with someone from your past, okay? Now, it could be a relationship with a partner. It could be a relationship with a, a family aspect, with a brother or a sister, okay? Maybe even a child. But it does talk about having to rebuild that trust and to be willing to rebuild that trust, to be able to forget about the past, to be able to forgive about the past and leave it in the past and move into the future in a more positive way, okay? But it does talk about victimization. Now, perhaps, Cancer, at one point in time, you were a victim, okay? And maybe perhaps this person that you are reconnecting with, they also were a victim. And so you're coming, you're coming from the same type of territory, you're coming from the same type of uh, understanding and the same type of history, okay? You're understanding why things went in the direction they went, okay? And so maybe you're thinking, you know what? It's better to forgive and to live in the future. And that is what you're planning on doing in the month of January. It talks about uh, you basically um, transforming your identity. You're transforming your identity into a more solid foundation, okay? You're becoming the person that you wanted to be all along. And perhaps you weren't given the opportunity to be that person. But now in the month of January, you're being offered the chance to be that full-fledged individual that you had sights on right at the beginning, okay? You were meant to be this person. You were meant to be more solid than perhaps you are now. And so now you're finding a way to do it. And you're reconnecting with someone who's going to help you understand the past and to move into the future. And perhaps part of that is saying goodbye to something that happened in the past. Or perhaps even someone in your life is passing. Someone in your life is passing. And so you're able to release um, old uh, a old grievances. Okay, You're able to release them and to move into the future. Because once that door is closed, there's no point in reopening it again, okay? There's no point in reliving uh, hardships and um, anxieties, no point in reliving it. It's time to look forward to the future. If you look at the world that we live in now and the things that are taking place in the world now, okay? Life is way too short to be living in the past, especially in negativities from the past. So I pray for you, uh, Cancer. It doesn't matter what divination you are. I hope that your future uh, is bright, and I hope that you're able to close the door on any past hurts and move into the future in a positive way. So take care, my friend, and I will see you in February. Bye-bye.